Ladies and gentlemen, DHS friends, good afternoon and welcome for a live coverage of the seventh round of the FIDE Women's Grand Prix in Tashkent. Well, the round just has been started. Um, well, before we actually proceed to the to the to the diagrams and positions they play, well, let's check a bit the situation in the tournament before this round. Well, and we have. After yesterday's, after yes yesterday's result, we have a three-way tie for the first before the seventh round. Uh, it's two players from India, Hampi Kaneru and Harika Dronovali, and Katerina Lagno from Ukraine, all on Hama Plus 3. was actually quite a, quite a similar display, so no G6 rookie 3 was the move of Nafisa Mominova, I, I guess we saw this one. Rookie 3. Well, an obvious rook lift in order to arrive to h3 or g3. Bishop d5 and knight d2. So that's defines a class of a player to be able to bring all the pieces into attack. So knight d2. And, well, b. 6p5 was played by Humpy. And well, I have to say, it looks like she's a little bit too careless about her king. Because at the moment it seems really dangerous. Well, even the simplest one, I'd say 94, and I'm not sure if black has any options but to take on, the, on e4. So bishop takes d5, bishop d3, and then. Well, huge attack is coming. Rook h3, g4, f5. So even this one is quite dangerous for black. And of course, apart from that, white's supposed to have a lot of other options. Perhaps g4 at once also has to be considered. g4 followed by f5. Well, Nafisa decided to play it another way. Bishop e4. So then in case of a uh, bishop takes, knight takes, knight might just prove be more dangerous than the bishop. Although I'm not quite sure to be honest. Well, ah well d5 is probably answered with knight d6. Oh yeah, yeah then it's then it's just fine. Bishop e4, so that was a choice of Muminova. Still, well, even she has a slightly better time management in this game, so she has some five more, uh, five more minutes compared to Picaner's time, but still no trouble. Mm, well, meanwhile Harika managed to not to give a C file, so Harika drawn a file if it's Katerina Lagno, Rook D C eight, Rook D D one, that one we mentioned, King E seven. Uh, I'm not sure about King E seven that was really needed because now white is in time to at least to keep the c file rook c6 king e1 rook c8 and king d2 then well looks like there is no risk for white but as well if black just changes everything here on changes everything here on c1 and then just place the king into a center. There shouldn't be any risk for black as well. So I'd, I'd say um, black may just start with g5, and then setting all her pawns on dark squares eventually. Okay, king d6 for instance, king c3, something like b6 followed by f6, h6. It's just a just a fortress. So Katerina Lagno may just. We just take on c1 everything and that's going to be a draw and I don't see to be honest don't see much of a 